we did that. Uh, it was that picture. Uh, it's got any questions for Peyton? <laughs> Peyton. He asked for questions. Okay, here we go. You good? Ready. Peyton, how would you assess where the defense at the defense is at week two? Like, did you expect it to be this strong? Did you ex expect there to be some learning curves? Um, I mean, there's lots of lots of positives and, and lots of negatives. I mean, uh, we're we're doing we're doing well at getting the ball out and forcing turnovers, but you know that we expect to, to hold hold opponents to. You know, as, as little points as possible. Our goal is, is less than three touchdowns a game. Personally, I like I like shutouts. Um, so yeah, there's, there's lots to work on, but I think we're, we're heading in the right direction. What would you say you guys need to work on? Um, just consistency. You know, playing together, we're, we're a little too up and down in practice and in games. Um, you know, we, we can't we can't be like that. We gotta be consistent and uh, just just make consistent plays. You know, we're going to say it ran the ball pretty well against you guys last year. Does, does it look like a team that, that's as capable of doing that this year? Or what's different about that, maybe? I mean, any, any team is capable of running the ball and we're not uh, and doing what we're supposed to do. Um, you know, Oregon State's a little, little easier on the eyes in terms of shifts and motions and all that. Um, so that, that's going to be a little, little relieving. But, uh, you know, they got big back and they're a Pac-12 team, so uh, we're going to treat them as such. And um, like I said, we, we just got to come out and, and play our, our brand of football and, and be consistent. How do you prefer about that Oregon State game from last year? It went down early and came back. Um, yeah, I mean, it was, it was a heck of a win, uh, especially down there at their place. But obviously, we don't, we don't want to put ourselves in, in that hole or in that situation this, this time around. Uh, we want to uh, come out from the get-go and, and start fast and um, put them in a hole. And, uh, just, just play, play pure, pure football, pure, pure defense. How do you prepare for a physical running back like Ryan Null? Tackle low. Yeah, he, he's, uh, he's a heck of a player. I'm excited to get another chance at him. And, uh, you know, all those big backs, you really you just got to tackle as low as you can. Um, it, it really tests um, how defense uh, tackles, so it's, it's going to be a great test for us. You spent a lot of time with Luke working with him. Has he been, been pretty high spirits the last few days? And have you had any uh, conversations about the game with him? Um, I mean, not not really, not not in particular. You know, but he's he's focused on on this game now, and uh, it's been that way since since last night, since we uh, watched the film um, from Boise State, and so and we're on Oregon State, and so is he. Uh, where he's excited to get after it and um, improve, just like I'm excited to prove improve uh, with the defense. You mentioned watching Philly Boise State, sorry. Uh, how do you feel about the way you guys played in that game? Obviously, it was this crazy win, but were you happy with the way it went? Um, you know, you're always happy with a win. I mean, winning's, winning's tough. Grinch says it all the time. Uh, you know, 50% of the country lost lost on Saturday, 50% won. And we're, we're on the, the, the right end of that. But, um, you know, lots of adversity. In, in terms of handling adversity, I think we handled it well. But, um, you know, you never want to put yourself in a situation where you got to come back. Um, that many points in the fourth quarter, uh, but it did teach us a lot of lesson. You know, you never have a fight, and so lots of positives, um, but also a lot of negatives coming out of the game. Talk about what you're seeing out of, out of Jalen so far this year, and uh, maybe the, the strides he's made. Yeah, I mean, Jalen Thompson, he's a stud. Uh, just the confidence that that you can see in him uh, is, is a big difference. Um, confidence in his calls that he's making to us at linebacker, um, and just his play and tackling. I mean, he's a uh, He's definitely someone that uh, I trust a lot, and so that makes my job easier. Um, and I, I think it solidifies that defensive back. Peyton, what were your thoughts on the fans storming the field after the game? Oh, I, I loved it. Um, I really, I didn't expect it. Um, next, you know, I was just going to shake hands. The next thing I know, uh, there, was, there was a bunch of crazy fans in the field. So it was, it was really a, kind of a great surprise. Uh, but yeah, it was lots of fun. I never really experienced that before. Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Week honors. Have you received any special messages from family or friends? Oh, of course. You know, I got the best family friends, uh, real supportive. Um, so they, they, they showed me some love. Um, but it's on the next one. You know, we'll get Defensive Player of the Week next week. Maybe uh, one more for Peyton. How are you? What do you think when you saw the film of that play? Saw some of the details involved, Namdi and so forth? Yeah, no, it's definitely got to credit the whole defense. Namdi, uh, you know, make, making them pitch that ball, and then Isaac um, blocking the intended receiver, um, and then Hunter Dale running down to, to block the last guy. Uh, so my hat's off to 
to the D for helping me out on that one. Yeah.